Hello, it's Lou Collins, and today I've got another card template for you. This is the Swing Card Template, a very popular card that can be folded into a smaller envelope with a kinetic element in the middle. So I've already used my repositionable spray adhesive to adhere my template to a piece of cardstock. As you can see, I've got a lilac color there, and I've cut around the edge with my trimmer. So now what I need to do is take my craft knife and a steel ruler. You can use a trimmer if you prefer, but you will need to use a trimmer that's got a pointed blade so you can just get into the areas you need. And you need to make cut lines along each of the solid pink lines through the template and then also through the cardstock underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and do each of these. And then once I've done that, I'm also going to score with my scoreboard on those dotted lines too. Just turn your card over once you've done the cutting and make sure that the four corners are cut to those so that's released. And make sure you've got the strip down the middle that's got the score lines in but no cut lines there. And now we can remove our template. So now for the kinetic element. So there's a couple of different ways that you can actually do this fold. My favorite by far is to have the longer edge of the center piece there off to the left. Um, and if you've got, there's a slight difference in height there. So the taller um, or the wider parts of the side of the square at the top. And then you want to mountain fold this first score line and valley fold this second one. So you'll see that will fold and this centerpiece will swing over and everything will flatten. This just means if I just pop this on the corner of my mat here just to show you, that will easily fit within a seven by seven inch envelope for you. When the card is opened up, you get that swing effect in the middle. So now all we need to do is just decorate this. When choosing what's going to go in the center of your card, you need to ensure that whatever you put in the center doesn't overlap this gap, otherwise your card won't be able to swing back and forth. So I've got a die cut panel here that's come from a card kit, but I'm going to trim it down so that it sits nicely within that rectangle. So as well as my smaller rectangle, I've also got some strips of cardstock to decorate the card base with. I've also cut myself another rectangle from my scraps. So it's actually from the excess paper that I cut these strips from. But I'm going to use the white side and I've made that the same size as the rectangle that's going on the front. Now to glue everything down, I'm going to start in the middle and I'm just going to place this, like I say, in the center of that rectangle, making sure there's nothing overlapping there so it doesn't interfere with that mechanism. And then I'm going to turn that over and I'm going to stick this white rectangle on the opposite side. because This is where I would place my own message, so a handwritten note, just like so. There we go. And then on the outside, I've got my strips of pattern paper that can go on each side. So a thinner strip on the left hand side and I've made these the same height as the cardstock and then a wider strip for the right hand panel which will sit just nicely inside there. Beautiful. Now you can, can add things like some floral, some paper flowers if you like to. Um, maybe some strips of lace, just ensure anything else you're adding isn't going to be sitting within the gap that this needs to be clear for swinging open and closed. 